Takumi, your hair is gross. Look at all that dandruff. Oh, this dandruff all over. Unreal. This guy's family is poor, so they can't even afford shampoo. <laughs> Seriously? How poor are you? Dandruff might come flying if you get close to him. <laughs> My name's Keita. I'm gonna start a new part-time job from tomorrow. Give me a cool cut. Okay. Keita, what's your new job? A clerk at a kiosk in Manisakura campus. Oh, my daughter goes there. Ah, that's a happy surprise. She usually brings lunch from home, but she's careless, so she forgets sometimes. You might find her at the kiosk from time to time. Her name's Remy. I'll introduce you to her. And so, I started my part-time job. Excuse me, can I buy an eraser? Of course. That'll be 80 yen. Thank you. You're welcome. Since this school is a joint junior slash high school, the students are polite and calm. As I was enjoying my part-time, something caught my eye. Takumi's walking with all that dandruff. Ugh, be careful. <laughs> That's hilarious. Go wash your dirty head in the toilet. Is that Takumi? It was Takumi. I used to see him often at the park near my house a few years ago. The Takumi I saw at the park had a strong sense of justice. He would stand up for kids that were bullied and was regarded as a hero. He was younger than me, but I had a lot of respect for him. Takumi, are you alright? Takumi couldn't hear me, and he ran away. I was worried and decided to talk to one of his close friends. Takumi's parents got divorced, and he's changed ever since. What? His parents that were really close got divorced? Oh, I had no idea. Takumi was taken in by his father, but the company his father was running got hit with a scam, which resulted in a lot of debt. They sold their house, and now they live in a tiny apartment. I can't believe it. I want to go to the bathhouse, but I don't have money. Our gas is cut off, so we don't even have hot water. Oh, smartphones are a dream within a dream. I'm Takumi, a second grader in junior high, with my father who is desperately trying to rebuild his company after getting scammed. We live in a crappy apartment that doesn't even have a shower. Oh, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Oh, I'm hungry. As I was drinking water to fulfill my hunger, who is that? Perhaps the debt collectors? Oh, they came all the way to our house? What do I do? Can I get away by pretending I'm out? I held my breath as the ringing didn't stop. Do they know I'm here? As I poked out in fear. Takumi! Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were passed out on the floor or something. Keita san! I brought a lot of food, so let's eat up together. You must be hungry. Uh, thank you very much. A mountain of food laid out on the table. I ate furiously. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really sorry for my attitude last time. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I didn't mind at all. I was too ashamed to be seen by you since you know me from back then. I was no longer the hero I was back then. Although, there may be times where I help out other people. I didn't think I would become the victim that needs the help. Ah, uh, Remy-san in the great above is so pretty. I want a girl like this to pamper me. You can do it, Akito-san! Right? This is my 100th text, too. She'll definitely turn this way. Yeah! There he is. It's the dandruff kid. Look at him. It's the poor dandruff boy. What a creep. Hey, the girl next to you is crying. What? I look over to the girl next to me. <laughs> She was bawling. On her desk, there was a pile of dandruff that looked to be mine. Your dandruff is all over her desk. What's wrong with you? Oh, poor girl. There's no way this much dandruff went flying on her desk. Oh, it's definitely the work of Akito. Can you prove this dandruff isn't yours? There's only one person that has this much dandruff, and it's you. Uh, uh... If you're aware of that, apologize. Yeah. Say you're sorry you dropped all of that dandruff. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're so quiet. Speak up! He said I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry my dandruff flew and piled up on your desk. That's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> oh yeah, I just thought of something. To prevent any more dandruff from flying all over the place, how about we glue it with this? He took out a can of industrial glue. Akito-san, that's brilliant. You're lucky, Takumi. Your dandruff problem is solved thanks to Akito-san. Here. Do it yourself! You're the one causing all this mess! I did as I was told, and stuck my head in a basin filled with glue. We need to change his hairstyle! How about we twist it like this? <laughs> you got good taste! My hair turned into a pile of white poop. What's this ruckus? Class is starting soon! What? 
Takumi, do you think that hairstyle is appropriate for school? Please do something about it before you come to school tomorrow. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, class is starting. Uh, change, rice ball, bread, all okay. All right, let's enjoy today's shift. Huh? So pretty. Oh, we're lucky we get to see her. Emmy, is that... Um, you're Keita-san, right? I've known you for a while ago. Whoa! Uh, I've heard about you from the barbershop I usually go to. Yes, I'm their daughter, Remy. You've been a regular customer since my parents first opened, and you even introduced some of your friends. Thanks to you, a lot of young customers started going there. Huh, it's a pleasure. Because they're skilled, the vibes are nice, and it's fun talking to them. Which is rare to find all in one barbershop. It makes me want to spread the word. <laughs> My parents would be really happy to hear that. What's all this noise? I looked over and found several students laughing over something on their phone. Have you seen Takumi Shiranuma's head from the 2C class? Yeah, it's crazy. I had to take a photo. Oh, seriously? Share it to me. I'll send it to my senpai. What's this ruckus? Something happened to Takumi. Uh, sorry, Remy-chan. Gotta go. See you next time. I rushed over to the 2C classroom. I'm coming too. I saw Takumi in an embarrassing scenario. How awful! They glued your hair? Who would do such a thing? Takumi, what happened? Keita-san, do you know this boy? Yeah, known him from a while ago. I can't leave him alone like this, especially if you two know each other. I'll wash you up. Come over to my house after school. Uh huh? Why is such a pretty senpai doing this for me? Um, if people see someone like this at your barber shop, won't they be turned off? I've actually been on the fence about becoming a barber. I like this shop, and I think it's a wonderful career, but it's quite the hard work. I'm not sure if it's the right decision in the long run, but whenever I see someone in trouble with their hair, it makes me want to help them. Thank you very much. But why is it all glued up in the first place? Well, I have a lot of dandruff, so my class may glue it up so it doesn't fly everywhere. Unbelievable! That doesn't even solve anything! Leave it to me. I'll clean it no matter what. Whoa, it feels good. We'll leave it like this for a bit and then wash it thoroughly. And so, Remy-san cleansed my hair with a lot of care. Did all the glue come off? Shampoo to finish it off. And treatment for the damaged hair from the glue. She carefully washed my hair and even put treatments all over. To top it off, she even styled my hair. Wow, my head feels lighter, and I didn't even cut my hair. Oh, the dandruff is gone too. Thank you so much. Uh, all I did was just wash and dry it up, but I'm glad you're happy. He smiles with sparkles in his eyes. How cute. Can I cut your hair as well? Oh, if you don't want me to, that's fine too. What? Is that okay with you? That would help so much. Really? I'm not good as my parents, so it might not go as well, but... I don't mind at all. You're so good. This is my favorite haircut I've ever gotten. Oh, that's saying too much. <laughs> the next day after school. Ah, uh, yesterday was like a dream. Hey, Takumi-kun! Whoa, Remy-san, why are you in the junior high classroom? I wanted to walk home with you, so I came over. Let me wash your hair again. Uh-huh. It's already clean, though, and I feel bad. I don't even have money. I was on the fence about my future, but seeing you so happy yesterday made me think that if I spent more time with you, I just might find the answer, which made me feel better. So, pretty please? And so, she came to my class after school and started washing my hair every day. A few weeks later, since then, having Remy-san wash my hair after school became a routine. Uh, she washes it every day, but it still feels good every time. Uh, huh? Is something against my lip? It's soft. Uh, could it be a kiss? I looked over to Remy-san after the wash. Huh? Nothing seems off as Remy-san. Maybe it was just my imagination. It has to be. What, 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 what was that? Why? Why would Remy-senpai do something like that to Takumi? Akito-san, are you alright? Get it together, Akito-san. Remy-san replied to your message. What? Akito-kun sending me texts every single day and following me around is getting awfully uncomfortable, which is why I consulted with the police. Also, I dug around and found videos of you causing the glue incident. It's only a matter of time before your parents find out. Lastly, I would never like someone with a bad brain like you. It, it's over. After that, Remy-san decided to follow her career as a hairdresser. Keita-san knew some very powerful people, and we were able to ask them for management consulting services. With a completely new business, my father's company started to take off. 
We were finally able to move into an apartment with a shower. Can I put this over here? Yes. I'm sorry we had to ask you for help, Remy-san. No need to apologize. Hey, Takumi. I yeah, Remy-san? Unpacking like this together makes it seem like we're moving in. <laughs> Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!